And welcome back, this is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is General G. General G is obviously a random player. Uh, he is ranked 72nd in his Platinum Division with 898 points, 105 wins, and 116 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the Southwest up against General G. He is the blue turn in the northeast. And why do I sound like this? Because he's Eeyore. Starcraft isn't fun anymore. And I kind of joke, kind of make fun of him. But, you know, he's, everybody has bad days. Let's see what he goes for here. Why is he su in such a bad mood? He is a random player, as I said, but he has spawned as Terran. Um, looks like his supply depot a little bit earlier than mine. That's all right. I'm confident that the timing is good there. Uh, but it does look like my SCV is a little bit faster than his as well. And, yeah, see, look, he stopped there. Ugh. What's he doing? Is he there? He is, but he's not... There, there you go. No? There. Okay. So, he's... Wow. So, already I have one full more SCV than he does. Because he stopped producing it for a while there. Yeah, once this guy spawns, I should have a two harvester lead. This is way too early for that. He does have uh, barracks on the way. See, yeah, I like two harvester lead. Uh, his is going to be a lot faster than mine, so he saved his money for that. That was what he was doing. I uh, don't agree with that. You want the SCV more than you need the barracks. Trust me. Unless you're going for some kind of cheesy build. Is he going for some kind of cheesy build? God, I hope not. So I'm scouting around his base. I don't think he's scouting around mine. I don't see anybody here. Uh, we are both going for marines. Uh, his is, of course, faster than mine because his barracks was faster than mine. And uh, here's about the point. I, I don't know when it is. Um, I think, yeah, it looks like it was about here that I tried to pull my SCV out. But I realized, oh, um, based on the SCV's movement, he blocked me in. So I'm just going to explore around until I die. Which shouldn't be too long here. Shot from the SUV and Marine kills him off. Orbital commands are both on the way. His was a second faster than mine though. No! My second barracks is on the way. He is, is not. Instead, he's going for a second refinery. So he's going for a techie build here. That's in the tech lab. We'll prove it. Doesn't look like he's getting anything out of there. And here we go, factory. So it looks like we're going to be seeing a fast factory build so far. Uh, probably going to lead to a a quick starport build but why would you do that whatever now I'm just overthinking it right now and we haven't even seen it yet why would you go for a fast starport build but three barracks are on the way for me meanwhile he is going for the factory gonna go for concussive shells and marauders uh, so he's gonna pretty much stick with the one marine and then go for marauders it looks like doesn't look like he's even... He's got a lot of minerals and gas here. What are you going to be doing with it? What are you doing? Oh, here we go. Sneaky starport. Two starports. So there we go. Not a quick... Not a quick starport build, but a quick two starport build. And everybody here should know what that means. If you don't, it's... Fast Banshees. He's going for Banshees as quickly as he possibly can. Meanwhile, I am very high on gas, very low on minerals, because I have not had time to get stim pack and concussive shells. Did he get any scouting down in that base? No. No, he didn't. Um, wow, so I did not, did not expect Fast Banshees. So as you can see, I have absolutely no means of countering it right now no missile turrets all i have are what few marines that i have in my base but 
that's not going to be enough I'm off two poor banshees right now. He is just basically getting STV supply depots and saving up money for those two banshees, yes. And look at that, boom, he's got this build timed. Uh, one Marauder staying out in no man's land right there. He is researching siege tech and... No, it doesn't look like he has enough for that siege tank yet. So he's going to be saving money for that, it looks like. Meanwhile, I do have quite a larger army. Like I said, one Marine, one Marauder, and that's it. Until these Banshees come out. Do I even have an engineering bay up? It doesn't look like I do. Uh, am I oversaturated? I always want to know. Yes. No. No, that's, that's, that's about good. You know, one of these guys is uh, on gas, but it will be oversaturated very soon here. I want to know that timing there. When am I oversaturated? Those two Banshees are out on the way. They're headed to my base the long way. Once again, why would you go for fast Banshees against a Terran player? I can't say I understand the thought process there, especially since they're not cloaked. You know, that's not that hasn't even started yet. Did he not think I would have Marines at all? Hmm. But those two Banshees are going inside my base. Where are they going? They went all the way to the corner here. And now they decide to go to the SCVs. I do take out the rocks, it doesn't look like he's at paying that much attention, so I take out the one marine. Uh, oh, he did reposition that siege tank. Uh, he's dancing around here. I moved my SCVs out of the way. Waiting for the engineering bay to pop up. It does. Four marines are not going to be enough to take out these banshees. Even if I did use Tempac, but I didn't. Uh, so those guys do go down. I have two more on the way. Meanwhile, I took out starport going for the second starport looks like he's actually stopped producing altogether here uh look at that 1200 he is um kind of going for my handle command he I, I did i did not cancel that turret i tried to build it tried to be sneaky but he got away with it so fine i'll just lift off my little command and wait for these guys to finish the job here he lifts off his old with command. Now I know that he has no expansion. Even though he still has a ton of minerals and gas. I take out the, the factory where he was building a siege tank, so he got some of that money back. Uh, he's moving back in, uh, trying to take out pick on my SCVs. He's going to be able to do that because these guys have no protection. Uh, because I believe I am, yeah, I'm fully out of minerals right now. All I've got are the marines that are inside his base. I was able to take out one banshee, but good lord, this banshee is getting a lot of kills. What's up, banshee? You're the you're the most attractive character in this game, I think. At least the most attractive portrait. Down goes the marauders. Down goes the refineries. I'm sending all my marines back in, um, and looks like he's pretty much given up here. He could still be attacking uh, the SUVs in my base, but it looks like he wants to go for something else here. This orbital command still has no place to land. The most logical place is right here in the minerals, but he does have no SCVs left. He's down to nothing. I'm saving the rest of my marauders that were here inside his base trying to get damage done. These guys uh, did finish the job here. I still assumed that there was a siege tank here because I did see it earlier, but it is not there anymore. He did take out my supply depot, I got a couple shots off, and I don't see that they're going yet. Let's see on my marauders. I am going for missile turrets in the back of my base. Oh, is he gonna be is he gonna do it? So I move my SUV and boom, instantly within range of my missile turret. And there goes the Banshee. And God See what I mean? Not even fun anymore. And then he leaves. So, yeah, that's the game. I mostly showed you guys this game because of his attitude. Um, I wouldn't say it's bad manners, as much as I would say that it's stubbornness and uh, unwilling to change your build. And uh, once you say that you're 
you know, I don't know what he meant to say. It was not even funny anymore. I was like, I'm not going to go easy on you because you said that. And I didn't. I, I went for my normal build. He threw me off with the Banshee. Um, because it's so unexpected. Who does that against Terran players? Uh, and that's what cost him the game, going for Banshees against Terran player. And then once he got the two Banshees, that was pretty much all, all he had. He decided that was going to be it. Oh, Cloak? I don't need to Cloak. What, he's going to have ranged units and inside his base that can attack air? Yes. This dude. This gun? It points up. Look at that. It points up. So there you go. That's the game. Don't go for ban two Banshees, two poor Banshees against a Terran player if you're not going to go for Cloak. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.